good crowd here at Boone Pickens Stadium. And we're underway. Win again. From about five yards deep in the end zone, we'll run it out. And win again gets across the 20 up the 23 yard line. The red shirt freshman joined the backfield by Jarvion Williams on first down. The handoff is to Williams, and he gets tripped up. Looks like a loss of one on the play. Second and 11. Bogan shoots, throws incomplete, was looking for Aaron Grubb, who had nine receptions last week. Third and 11. Pressure coming. Bogan shoots, gets set, fumbles the football. Picked up, OSU to the end zone. Touchdown, Devonta Abram. Tavius Jones, the sack and the forced fumble. Devontae Averett with the recovery, returns it six yards for the touchdown. You're going to see what we call a, a psycho look. You got all these guys standing up trying to confuse the offensive line. Who's coming, who's dropping. Mike Tavius Jones off the edge. Obviously the blind side for the quarterback. Didn't see it coming. Here you see. Just left tackle. Couldn't get out there. Reed Dara. Hit, hit. Bogan shoots on the blind side. He's got to protect that ball. Devontae Averett able to pick it up. And you could see Mike Tavius Jones was celebrating. Didn't realize he had forced the fumble. And there, Averett picks it up, brings it in. And it's quickly 7-0 Oklahoma State. Up-tempo offense that can strike quick. But they have to get out of these third and long situations. A pass on first down to Grubb. And Grubb able to spin forward up to the 28. Picks up three, second down and seven. Handoff, Williams up the middle. And Williams up to the 32. Bogan shoots, will keep it. Makes a move, fumbles it again. This time, it's recovered by Jordan Burton. That's Jordan bad. Stearns knocks it loose. Gonna... Well, Bogan shoots, doesn't see anything, nothing there. And this might have been a design draw play. Like I said, the, a lot of times these, these middle of these defenses on these passing downs are open up. And he had the first down. He's, again, he's got to secure the ball. Two possessions, two fumbles by Blake Bogan shoots. Great starting field position now at the 37 of UTSA for Mason Rudolph in Oklahoma State. Rudolph delayed handoff. Chris Carson up the middle. And Carson with a good run. On first down, the handoff again to Carson. Carson breaks free. Touchdown. 26 yards. I thought he ran the ball well. Uh, he, he was able to, to run the ball effectively in the A-gaps. Um, each week, he's um, he's He's gotten a good number of yards after the first hit. I, I've liked that part of his running, and I think that he got he's improving a little bit each week. You see the the guard pull around and, and just up the middle. It's the first play the play they ran first game of, the, of uh, first play of the game, and the middle of the US, UTSA defense is just is an open is an open sieve right now. Grogan for the extra point puts it through again. Third possession of the game for them. Jarvion Williams on first down, takes the handoff and will get one. Tackled by Darian Daniels. Bogan shoots, gets it out to Grubb, who had nine catches last week. Tackled by Jarrell Morrow. Bogan shoots, steps up, takes the shot, and that is incomplete. His team leads 14-0 on first down. The pass is high, juggled, incomplete. Austin Hayes could not bring it in. Carson. Rudolph with some time over the middle, completes it to his back. Carson, who gets tackled well short of the first down marker. Again, it's Curry 
with the tackle, and that'll bring in the punting unit for Oklahoma State. Zach Siner on to punt. Derek Dick back at the 36 to return this punt from Zach Siner. Fair catch signals and made at the 38-yard line. 14-0, Oklahoma State leading UTSA here in the first quarter. Burgers? I didn't know they had those. I've been eating too much brisket. And they trail 14-0 here. Bogan shoots in the shotgun with Jarvion Williams on his right. They hand off to Williams. Williams a good run on first down. Takes it up to the 44-yard line. Larry Coker, the head coach of the Roadrunners. Another handoff. Williams breaks a tackle, trying to get outside, turning back, looking kind of like Barry Sanders here at Oklahoma State. A good run by Jarvion Williams, eight yards. Michael Hunter finally brings him down, but he moves the chains. Well, this is just going to be all Williams on the run. You can see not much to the right. Taylor gets a hand on him, missed a couple tackles. He's just going to cut back to where there's nobody in contain on the defense, and that was all him. First down here for UTSA. High snap, Bogan shoots. Good job, able to get it, and now a flag comes in. The hit by Jordan Burton. Mike Gundy doesn't like the flag coming in because the ball was deflected. He caught it, went down, and the hit came from the junior, Jordan Burton. Yeah, I couldn't tell. I don't, I don't know if they're going to call it unsportsmanlike. Personal foul. Defense. 15 yards from the previous spot. First down. Yeah, you just... Another mistake, self-inflicted wound by UTSA. A high snap, good job by Bogan shoots falling on it, but that's it, it was a late hit. I was wondering if it was gonna be targeting. I couldn't see if he led with his head, but obviously he did. David Morgan in motion. They get it out to Grubb. And Grubb gets brought down by Trace Clark. Some confusion defensively for Oklahoma State. Bogan shoots. Able to get rid of it quickly. And it's caught by Derek Dick. Rhodes goes, splits out. Morgan on the slant has the first down, and Moore, he lowers that shoulder as he brings it down to the 14. David Morgan, such a big target for Blake Bogan shoots. Just going to see Morgan find a sweet spot in the zone. and. Do what he does best. Last week we saw him physically carry a defensive back for the first down. This one, this time he runs one over. Bogan shoots in the traffic. Tips. Intercepted. <laughs> Ramon Richards off the deflection. He had three interceptions last year. His first one this year. Well, Bogan shoots just forces that pass in there. Three, de three defenders and two, two receivers. Not a good matchup. Bias was there and made a tight window to throw in there. On first down here for Oklahoma State, the pass to James Washington, and Washington gets thrown to the ground. Second down, handoff to Carson. And Chris Carson with the first down up to the 18-yard line. Rudolph in the shotgun, first down and 10. Carson. Another good, strong run, second and two. It's Carson again up the middle. Carson able to dance, find the hole, and get the first down up to the 32. For Mario Napoles with the tackle. You're seeing the Cowboys utilize this one-back power play up the middle. Rudolph, shot wide open. Jeremy Seaton down the sideline is tackled inside the 25 at the 23. A 44-yard pickup. Seaton was wide open, the only guy on his side of the field. And here comes Oklahoma State still trying to play up tempo. Well, it helps when, when you're not covered. It makes it easy to catch the ball. And that, all this defensive blown coverage there by the Roadrunners. Rennie Childs in for the first time at tailback. Hand off, Childs, look at the hole. 
Again, Childs on the ground. Childs hurdles one guy and gets thrown to the ground by Dalton Miller. J.W. Walsh, the backup quarterback, is now in. Got to watch out for him on the ground. Running the option. He's going to keep it. Walsh, he's got the first down. Down to the seven-yard line, setting up first and goal. Nate Gaines with the tackle, and now Mason Rudolph comes back in at quarterback. J.W. Walsh, the guy who has started in the past for the Cowboys, now kind of mentoring Mason Rudolph. And he is a dangerous dual-threat quarterback. Rudolph back in, as is Chris Carson in the backfield. Rudolph for the corner of the end zone. Washington has it deflected, knocked out of bounds by Aeneas Henricks. Tenth play of the drive. Handoff, Carson. Carson can't get away from that tackle. Kevin Strong Jr. got a hold of his foot, didn't let go. Rudolph again to the corner. Washington can't bring it down. Again defended by Henricks. He's made both extra points in this game. This one from 24 yards. And he's perfect on the day. 17-0, Oklahoma State leading UTSA, 2.25 to go here in the first quarter. Three turnovers on first down. The handoff to Jarvion Williams runs into a whole lot of orange jerseys. Play clock down to four. Bogan shoots, finds Grubb, number 88, and Grubb gets the first down up to the 45, picks up 10. Derek Dick in motion. He takes the handoff. And Dick gets lit up at midfield by Trey Flowers. Handoff, Jarvion Williams up the middle. And Jarvion Williams looks like he has another first down. That is the end of the first quarter with Oklahoma State leading UTSA 17-0. Fox Sports 1 College Football presented by Geico will return after these messages. First down and five. Handoff. Williams again. Jarvion Williams will get four, setting up second down and one. Aaron Grubb in motion. The handoff to him, and Grubb able to get that first down. Second effort. Grubb again in motion. This time it's Jarvion Williams. Williams, you can see the type of balance he has and that those quick twitch muscles gets three, able to avoid some tackles. Jordan Stearns with a stop. The turnover last time led to three points for Oklahoma State. Bogan shoots, dumps it off to Grubb, has some green. And Grubb again bounces off a tackle. Excuse me, Brady Jones. First and 10 from the 17. Inside handoff, Jalen Rhodes. Nice move to the outside. Rhodes gets tackled from behind. Picks up the first down. Jordan Stearns brings him down, but a 12-yard run from Rhodes. Rhodes again. And Rhodes trying for the cutback. Gets just one. A good tackle by Jordan Stearns. Led the team in tackling last year with 103. Bogan shoots. To the end zone, drops, incomplete. Kenny, Kerry Thomas Jr. was right there in his hands. Trey Flowers on the coverage. Bogan shoots on the slant, caught by Thomas, touchdown. Gary Thomas wasn't gonna drop two in a row. No, he wasn't. That's an unbelievable answer from a from the offense, you see it. See, you're gonna see a little little shoulder fake there, but to, to hold the corner just enough for, for Kerry Thomas to get inside on the slant. Takes a little bit of shot there. Daniel Portillo on for the extra point. He converts. They lost last week against K-State, and now they're playing Oklahoma State tough, and Rudolph trying to escape. 
And off to Carson. Good containment right there by the defense of UTSA, allowing just one yard. Michael Egwagu and Dalton Miller combined for the stop. Rudolph swings it out. David Glidden, open field tackle. Michael Egwagu, that is a big time stop. That's just great athleticism. One of their leading receivers, Dayton, David Glidden, their Wes Welker type guy that can make all kinds of plays, and Aguagu was right there with him. And this is a great three and out forced by, by UTSA. They, again, they're, they're feeding off their offense, and this team is accustomed to playing big time teams on, on the road, so they're not afraid of these teams. Zach Steiner to punt again. Derek Dick is back. Fair catch. And he makes the fair catch at the 39. There is a flag down near side. Holding. Receiving team number 27. 10 yards from the end of the kick. First down. Excuse me, the 39 is going to bring them back. Well, Blake Bogan shoots the redshirt freshman quarterback. His last two drives, they've looked good. They've got seven on the board, trying to put more on when we come back. to their offense. If you take away the loss of 18 by Bogan shoots on that one play, the bat snap, they have almost 60 yards on the ground. On first down, another fumble. And it looks like Bogan shoots able to get on top of it. Jalen Rhodes in the backfield. Bogan shoots rolls out to his right. He's going to tuck it and run with it. And Bogan shoots gets chased down by Chad Whitener. Bogan shoots. Throws, intercepted. Went to the sideline. Kevin Peterson picked it off. The fourth turnover of the half for UTSA. I couldn't tell if it was a bad throw by, by the quarterback or, or, or he was thinking that the, the receiver was going to uh, turn the other way. Obviously, yeah, Lee just let him a little bit too much on the comeback. Kerry, Kerry Thomas Jr. was... was the defender on that play was a, a throw that I'm sure Blake would like to have back, but again, I don't know if they were on the same page there. Fourth turnover, all 17 points for Oklahoma State so far have come off turnovers. First down, Rudolph completes the pass, far side to David Glidden. The other uh, opponent's uh, side of the field. Carson on the handoff. And Carson, another good run. Up to the six, gets five. Brian Price with the tackle. Carson splits out wide. Walsh up the middle. J.W. Walsh gets hit as he crosses the two by Dalton Miller. So it's first and goal. Walsh still in there. Running the option. He'll keep it. Walsh, did he get in with a third effort? It looks like he bobbled it, may have fumbled it. And it is recovered by Victor Saleko, the left tackle. Did the runner's forward progress was stopped, started the goal line. Second down. So don't even worry about the fumble. It's going to be second and goal from the one. He lowers his shoulder there, was trying to get in, had a great second effort. But again, the gang swarm tackle by the Roadrunners. It's a good thing they called that progress stop because that ball was definitely out. Walsh gets it to Carson. Carson with his drive. Did he get in? No, he did not. Third and goal. What Kevin a, Garcia with a big time stop. The backup linebacker, 53, Kevin Garcia. That's been his tracks. And, Again, that's you see the heart of this defense. They've, they've been put in bad situations time after time after last week as well, and they stand up to the challenge. Carson, he'll walk right in. Touchdown, Oklahoma State. More points, all turnovers. Second touchdown of the game for Chris Carson.
And all the turnovers, five in the game for Bogan Shoots and UTSA have led to the points for Oklahoma State. Ben Grogan on for the extra point. On first down, Dalton Sturm is in at quarterback. He keeps it, picks up three. Well, new quarterback, but the snap still hasn't changed. It's another high snap. Quarterback had to stop, get out of rhythm, and, and catch a, a, a high snap. That's something Austin Pratt's going to have to get down in, in a hurry. That's that's that was what led to the the uh, turnover on the last on the last series. Sturm to throw on second down, throws low, caught by Kerry Thomas Jr. He gets four yards, so third and manageable coming up. Stern off the back foot, throws, and that's pulled in by David Morgan. Across midfield, up to the 47. You're going to see the big, big time capabilities for David Morgan. We talked about him before the game, and you see him just reach out beautiful. Good throw, good throw by Sturm. And it's an impressive throw to come off the bench and move the change right off the bat. On first down, the handoff to Jarvion Williams. On that jet sweep, Kenny Bias. This time, it did not fool Oklahoma State. Devontae Averett there with Trey Flowers. Morgan in motion. Play action. Stern forced out of the pocket. Throws towards the sideline. It's incomplete. Morgan was the intended receiver. Your own side of the field is, is a positive. Rudolph on first down. Swings it out wide. And completes the pass to Austin Hayes. Just a simple pass out to the flat to Hayes. And he makes the most of it. He picks up seven yards in that play. And Second down and three. Delayed handoff. Carson, another good run as he's able to get up to the 25, tripped up by Duke Wheeler. A nine yard run for Chris Carson. Dalton Miller, number 56, is going to get caught inside. He's going to, he thinks the back's going to take it inside, and he, he gets out of his lane, and the back was able to see the green grass on the outside and take it. Good job picking up that rusher by Carson. Second down and 10. Rudolph with time to Hayes. First down. First and 10 from the 39. Delayed handoff again. Up the middle, Carson. Carson with another good run to the 44 of UTSA. 17 yards. Dalton Miller with a tackle. See Brian Price, 91, jumps out of his out of his gap there. He goes, takes the inside into the center, and even though it was he, they were playing pass rush, all four of them had the pass rush. He opened up a lane, and that's how that that run ended up being a big game. Carson approaching 100 yards here in the first half on the ground. The throw over the middle, incomplete. Jawan Seals, the intended receiver. Play action. Rudolph taking the shot down the field. Brandon Shepard. 39 yards, first and goal from the six. Corner of the end zone. Touchdown, Jawan Seals. Just a simple fade by Seals. Cornerback Hendricks has back to the ball the whole time, and it's a good throw and catch. That's a great drive for Oklahoma State. We've seen them only kind of have offensive success so far, really off the turnovers, and, and they took a, a really almost a 90-yard drive down the field, and, and that was all them. So they're clicking as well on offense. Quarterback's raw. Sturm. Look at him go. Dalton Sturm, a good run up to the 35, picks up 26. 
Jordan Stearns with the tackle. Well, he's obviously got, got legs that can make plays with it, so that's another wrinkle that the o Oklahoma State's going to have to be ready for in the second half. Stern gets sacks. Guess who? Emmanuel Ogba. Three and a half sacks now on the season for Ogba. Going to see him over the left tackle here. Line up on Reed Dara. And just swipes the hands and gets down there. Now, Sturm had to hold the ball a little bit, but that's a good pass rush. Gets Knocks the hands down, and that does what he does best, rush the passer. Does whatever he's told, and so he's got a great attitude, and that's what they like the most about him. Sturm again. Trying to get outside. He does. Pushed out with a little love tap from Ogba. Third down and eight. We see that what I call a psycho look again. These guys all standing up. You never know who's coming from what direction. There's seven guys up by the line of scrimmage. You never you don't know which ones are dropping her. Sturm on the slant. Completes the pass to Jabrice Taylor. Taylor will move the change first down up to the 44 of Oklahoma State, a 19-yard completion. They hurry up and get up, get set with this clock stop and have the first down. They might be able to get some points out of this before the half. Sturm stepping up again. And he throws this one away. Seven seconds to Ralph Clay in. Trying to run for it. He gets down to the use the timeout. And there is no time left. The time will expire. Devontae Averett brought him down, and that'll do it for this first half. The story of the first half, turnovers. Four in the game for UTSA. Oklahoma State leads 31-7 at the half. the ball over that many times on the road your percentages go way down but you've seen crazier things happen on first down the handoffs to Jeff Carr and Carr picks up five up to the 30 second down a reverse Jalen McCleskey on the reverse brings it up near midfield out at the 48 and 18 yard pickup Little, little trickery by Oklahoma State to start the second half. McCleskey's going to take it around. He's a young guy, a true freshman, uh, but he's a he's a guy that they're going to they want to incorporate and use down the field. He's a speedy receiver, light, 156 pounds. The handoff to Carson again, being patient. Second down and seven. Again, it's Carson. And Carson keeps those feet churning. Can't overlook UTSA this week. On third and four, in some trouble as Rudolph gets away over the middle, finds Glennon. Glennon breaks away from one to the end zone. Touchdown. There is a flag down at midfield, 46 yards for David Glennon. Personal foul, roughing the passer. Defense number 56. The penalty will be enforced on the kickoff. Touchdown. 46-yard touchdown to David Glidden. Jason Neal, the defensive end, is going to come in. You see him make force the force the quarterback to step up in the pocket and hit Glidden, and it's great, great throw and catch and great effort by Glidden. Quarterbacks today. Well, for UTSA, they have been under pressure turnovers, although most of those are Blake Bogan shoots. On first down, the handoff to Williams, and Williams gets thrown down late. The referee was looking. Emmanuel Ogba threw him down, but there is no penalty. Second down and 10. Handoff, Williams with some room. And Williams, a good run, gets the first down. Up to the 33-yard line. Trying to, they know their offense runs well when, when the run game is included. Play action. Outside. It's Grubb. It's kept nicely. How about the play of Dalton Stern? Again, not listed on the two deep. The backup is Russell Bellamy. Stern comes in because the turnovers by Bogan shoots. And on that zone read right there, he read it perfectly. Well, 
you said exactly right. This kid, he, he, you wouldn't know it by watching him play that he's not on the two deep. He, he runs the offense like he's been doing it all along. Second down and six. Stern. This time he's in trouble. He goes down. Vincent Taylor, third and eight. Stern steps up in a triple coverage looking for Morgan. And that's incomplete. And Morgan looks like he delivered the hit to Jordan Stearns. Play action, first down. Rudolph comes near side and completes that pass to Jalen McCleskey, the true freshman. Another play action. Pressure coming up the middle. And sacked is Mason Rudolph. Marcos Curry with his first sack of the year, a loss of seven. Marcos Curry, the linebacker. He's gonna shoot the gap, sees the back free release, so he knows he's got nobody to pick him up, and he's gonna get there along with freshman defensive tackle Kevin Strong. And again, this defense hanging tough. Second down and 17. Rudolph throws low, incomplete, was looking for Brandon Shepard. There is a flag in the backfield. Uh, Holding. Offense number 57. Second and 27. Handoff Childs. And Childs gets hit right away. Rudolph just dumps it off. Childs gets taken to the ground at the 25, so the punt unit will come on here for Oklahoma State. UTSA hoping for some good field position. In the 42, trying to get outside is Dick. And he gets run out at the 46. So good starting field position now for UTSA at their own 46-yard line. A beautiful day on the campus of Oklahoma State University. <laughs> Oklahoma State University leading 38-7 over UTSA. The third and final meeting between these two teams in the last three years. The first meeting was at UTSA two years ago, won by Oklahoma State. Last year here, won by Oklahoma State. They're leading here again. On first down, Jarvion Williams. Williams up to the 47. Tackled by Jesse Akem and Trey Flowers. Reverse. A good run. They're part of their offense. They needed to run because third and ten is not where they do well. I snap, handoff, Javion Williams down the sideline. And Williams gets tackled out of bounds. 124 yards on the ground. Quarterback draw. Sturm, a good run. They're going to continue to do their thing. Sturm, pressure from behind, gets sacked. Dropped by Jimmy Bean. Stern lost one. Incomplete towards the end zone. Kenny Bias, the intended receiver. From 40, this one is no good. 38 to 7, Oklahoma State leading. On first down, Rudolph swings it outside. He, he's taken some hits. Uh, he took a, a real violent hit today. Um, and he's, uh, I like where he's at. We're going to have to tone him down a little bit. He's, he may be a little too aggressive in, in his receiving the punts, but that's okay. As he, as he improves and matures and gets better, I think he'll be a real threat for us. Up the middle. You can see Childs, again, just keeping those legs going. Rudolph over the middle, completes to Washington. He takes it across midfield up to the 46 of UTSA. Washington, one of the guys we wanted to watch in this game, and you see him get separation and 
be able to make a catch across the middle. They're going to hurry up. They get it back out to Washington. And Washington. Play action. Rudolph. Finds his tight end, Zach Veach. And Veach has another first down up the 20. A big guy, 6'4", 270, picks up 19. Yeah, Veach, who last year had to start 11 games at guard because of injuries. So you see him roughing and toughing right down the field after the catch. Rudolph kept it. Just dove forward, back to the line of scrimmage. No gain, tripped up by Jason Neal. Rudolph to the end zone, dropped. Dropped by Jeremy Seaton, he was wide open. He would have had another one if uh, 44, uh, he, he must not want to score a touchdown. So, and, and I give, it's okay to give Jeremy a hard time because Jeremy's been a great player for us. And so I can give him a hard time. Lost concentration there by Seaton. Pressure coming, and Rudolph goes down. Sacked by Marcos Curry, his second sack of the day. A loss of six. And Brogan's kick, another good one. You can control the penalties. If you jump off sides, if you get in position to make a bad block, I mean, for a holding call. And uh, it is frustrating. Jalen Rhodes on first down. You see them continuing to run the ball and work on getting better at that because last, even though they're down by 34 points, they're, they look better on offense being able to, you know, move the ball down the field, sustain drives, and, and that's and that, a big part of that was the run game that was not there last week. Again, four turnovers, six penalties against UTSA. That's the reason why this game is 41-7. to seven. The pass. To Brady Jones, benched in this one after committing four turnovers. Sturm, dancing around, trying to buy time, gets rid of it, avoids the sack, and now a fan maybe goes home happy. Nah, they got to return that ball. Sturm dumps it off to Clay. Clay gets enough for the first down, up to the 41, picked up nine when he needed eight. Pressure coming off the edge. The handoff to Williams. Williams, another nice run. Kept by Sturm up the middle. Dalton Sturm had not played quarterback before. It wasn't on the 2D. Sturm with time. Down the field, and that one is broken up nicely by Ramon Richards. He had an interception earlier. Sturm was taking that shot, looking for Kenny Bias. Bias had him beat. Just the ball a little underthrown him. Williams takes the handoff, and he gets that first down. They will not get the playoff before this third quarter comes to a close. That is the end of the third. The score, 41 to seven. Oklahoma State leading UTSA FS1 College Football, presented by Geico, will return after these messages. Big 12, no huddle, all season long on Fox Sports Southwest. Dalton Sturm has taken over at quarterback, and he's looked good for the Roadrunners. Play action. Sturm steps up over the middle, completes the pass to Thomas, and Thomas is inside the five. Brought down by Jarrell Morrow, who saves a touchdown. A 32-yard completion. Again, Sturm not looking like a, a rookie quarterback here. Sees there's pressure, steps into the throw anyway, and dials a strike to Kerry Thomas. First and goal from the two. Williams, he will walk in untouched for the touchdown. A two-yard touchdown run for Jarvion Williams. He's got 90 yards on the ground today. Watch as J.W. Walsh is now in at quarterback. On first down, the handoff is to Chris Carson. And Carson up to the 29. Handoff again, Carson. Carson up to the 32. Carr swings out. They throw over the middle, incomplete for Brandon Shepard. <laughs> Zach Siner on to punt. 
Derek Dix signals for the fair catch. Muffs it. And it's still loose. It looked like he was bumped into. There was no flat. And they're saying that Oklahoma State has recovered. Well, chalk another turnover up. What makes the fair catch and... Oh, it was hit off his own teammate. Jabrice Taylor tried to get out of the way and it hit his shoulder pad and... and offensive player, uh, receiving player touched it, so it's a live ball. Derek Robertson with the recovery. Rennie Childs now in. Play action. Walsh to the sideline. Wide open along the sideline for the catch is Jalen McCleskey, that freshman, a true freshman. Jeff Carr splits out. Walsh will keep it. J.W. Walsh up to the 15. Gets four. Carr. Walsh lofting one to the end zone. Lot of contact. Flag is thrown. Touchdown. Marcel Aitman. Thirteen yard touchdown pass from Walsh to Aitman. There is a flag. We'll take a listen. But we think this one would go against UTSA. Pass interference. Defense number 21. That penalty is declined. Touchdown. Been in a coach in the coverage, and he's one of their bright spots at defensive back. And you see him all over it. Good. Good concentration by Aitman to haul that one in. Play they're going to need out of their defense when they face teams like Baylor and Texas and some of these, these teams that can score points. Brett Winnegan from about five yards deep in the end zone. He fumbles it. Recovered again by Oklahoma State. At the six-yard line. Well, we can up update that takeaway stat to six be able to get turnovers on special teams and it just makes a big difference when there's only so many possessions in a game and when the defense gives the offense extra possessions and obviously takes them away from the other team then you're going to have a chance to run up some big numbers. Puts his helmet right on the ball went again the true freshman who's had enough returns today to, to you'd think he'd get in the groove. Giles diving forward second down and goal from the one. Childs again. Touchdown. Ready Childs punched it in from one yard out. At this point, at this point, you're starting to see a very tired UTSA defense in two weeks in a row. They've been on the field a lot more than, than they've wanted to. These teams that you wouldn't think would come after you, and these, these teams are trying to make a name for themselves, they're, they're going to be gunning. They're going to have to bring their A game every week. Jalen Rhodes on the carry. Three, three seasons at Michigan, so he's had some game experience. Quarterback draw, and he's going to lose a yard. Telling his pass is incomplete. Intended for Brady Jones. Is, is the entire team, you could feel, had some energy. The defense stepped up a little bit for, for a while. And, uh, Rouses, that's a muff punt, and it's recovered by UTSA. The one ball he dropped, he got the ball to the side. He needs to center the ball up and receive the ball in his rib cage, and he took it to the side. That's twice he's done that. So we're going to keep putting him back there because we believe in him, and he's a threat. Um, but... He's up to this point. He plays the game fearless, and that's what you have to do to be a good punt returner. Good move by Jalen Rhodes to avoid that tackle in the backfield. On that jet sweep, nowhere to go for Peyton Hall. It'll be a loss of one. You know they got to play somebody, in, somebody in more of their talent level, and um, Bellamy. <laughs> Is that caught? No, incomplete. Derek Dick couldn't get his feet set inbounds. They've been hanging in there with some good teams this, this year as well, and playing tough football. This punt will go into the end zone, but we've got a flag. 
Personal foul. Number 23. 15 yards from the touchback spot. First down. This is a look at the personal foul against Godfrey. Yikes, that's dangerous. Playing concert there when he was growing up. On first down, the handoff to Rennie Childs. <laughs> Childs again breaking free across midfield. Getting into that rhythm, they're going to want to be firing on all cylinders. Cut back, a flag thrown, Carr on the carry. Picks up six, but let's see what Holding. the flag is. Offense, number 86, 10 yards from the previous spot, first down. That's against the tight end, Zach Veach, who was also an offensive lineman last year. Little bootleg here. Cornelius cannot escape. The schedule sets up in their liking this year for Oklahoma State. And on the road, you're, you're playing some of the, the weaker teams, and, and that's what you want to do. That's what you want to have in your favor. Nice job breaking a tackle. How many of these guys came from high school rivalries? And there's a lot of bad blood and pride in this game. And even though it's Oklahoma versus Texas, there's a lot of Texas boys that, that grew up playing against each other, and they don't want to lose to each other. Brian Vaughn with the carry. It's Vaughn again. He nearly fumbled, got it back. <laughs> Kept by the quarterback, Bellamy. And Bellamy with that effort spinning forward. You can see today that they've kind of run the same plays over and over, and they've got positive yards out. We, we spoke Carson over 100 yards rushing on the day. Empty backfield. Bellamy on the slant incomplete. Taylor Cornelius, the quarterback. The handoff to Raymond Taylor. You know, he says you, to, in order to be, to win in this league, you've got to be able to stop people on the road. You need a defense to do that. Taylor down the sideline. Raymond Taylor, the race to the end zone. Touchdown. 58 yards. Taylor's just going to find his own room there. Again, the play was designed to go to the right and had the vision to, to cut it back to the left. And nobody home. Nikhil Bailey was supposed to have outside coverage there on the outside of the, of the defense, but nobody home. Corbin White is now in at tailback, and White gets the carry. He loses it. And it's picked up, returned the other way, another touchdown. Derek Robertson, the fumble recovery for the score. A 22-yard return for Derek Robertson on the fumble recovery. Second fumble return for a touchdown on the day for Oklahoma State. We've talked about it. Turnovers, penalties have really hurt them in the first three weeks of the season. But Mike Gundy, seventh time that Oklahoma State will start 3-0 under him in his 11 years as the head coach. Oklahoma State will take on Texas next week in Austin.